Tom Jesse had to give us a very good reason when he asked to be released from the cafe coffee duty for a few months. Months! That's a long time. And here it is. He's been working as assistant director on the New Zealand opera production of La Boheme. Welcome to our very talented Jesse and the award-winning Amelia Berry. Oh, Thank you. Thanks. So nice to have you both in the studio. Jesse, welcome back. Thank you. It's We're so strange to be sitting here. I not like over there on the, the go, machine. Oh, have a I'm not like, even asking you yeah, I walked in and they were like, oh, coffee. I was like, no, no, I'm a guest. It'd be nice to meet Yeah, you've got so much going on. And it seems weird seeing you in your civvies and not in your white. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you've been an incredible barista on the cafe for ages, you. but you've got a lot of other things going on. Talented dancer, choreographer, mm -hmm. and now assistant director. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit, a little bit about the career highlights for you so far? Oh, this, I mean, it's a lot. So yeah. I've been lucky enough to dance uh, full-time in New Zealand for a few years, and I've done national tours. I've toured Australia, Asia, uh, the Middle East, uh, Europe. Um, yeah, super lucky, super, super lucky. I did Edinburgh Festival. Oh, and talented as well. Do we mention that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I did Edinburgh Festival, which you do 30 shows back-to-back. -back. Um, that was singing, dancing shows. So that was quite amazing, actually. Um, and then now, here I am working with New Zealand Opera as an assistant director, like, who knew I'd get here? Yeah, so great. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, we are so excited. And Amelia, you're incredibly accomplished oh, as thank well. You. Um, <laughs> one thing that makes me very jealous is you obviously spent time in Manhattan. Yes, I just so, left. I spent seven years there. How was it? It was crazy. It's, a, it's an intense city to live in, really. Um, nothing ever stops, but mm. it was amazing. I met some incredible people, and um, I do miss it, but... Yeah, on so to other things. <laughs> what were you doing there? Um, I moved over to study uh, at the Manhattan School of Music in 2011. Um, and then I just kind of stayed and just kept sort of studying outside of school and, you know, living the life. <laughs> so what have, what have been your career highlights so far? Um, earlier this year I got to play one of my bucket list roles here in New Zealand in Candide, uh, the role of Kunagonda. So that was incredible. That was part of the Auckland Festival with New Zealand Opera. Um, and I also got to sing at 54 Below, which is an amazing, famous cabaret club in New York, so that was really fun. And I sang in Korea earlier this year, which was also really fun. Um, the Korean fans are crazy. I mean, they actually mob you after the show and ask wow. for photos and signatures and chase you down the street. So that was a new experience. I felt <laughs> like a rock star. <laughs> I, I keep going back yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Don't chase me, I please. Know. <laughs> please, no paparazzi. Yeah. Tell us about the La Boheme story, because it's mm. an incredibly popular opera. Mm. Yeah. You go. <laughs> I mean, well, Act One's basically um, a prologue, and the party doesn't start till I walk in in Act Two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Act One. Uh, yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's, a, it's a tragic love story. It so is. it's um, the meeting of Mimi and Rodolfo. So they essentially meet because uh, Mimi's candle has blown out, and she knocks on this guy's door and says, "Can you light my candle?" Um, and that's where it starts. They fall in love very quickly. And then very, very quickly, have a one song. That's yep. a very famous and beautiful song, and they do extremely well. Mm. Um, Act Two is the party scene where everyone goes to the pub and they celebrate and have a good time. And then um, Act Three, there's sort of the heartbreak moment where Musetta and um, who uh, Emilia is playing and Marcello are sort of together but fighting. You know, we fight all the You know, the like time. marriages. You, you'll know. <laughs> yeah. um, and <laughs> Rodolfo knows that Mimi's gotten really sick. She's got consumption, so she's getting ill, and he's like, "I don't want to be with her. She's sick," which is really Awful. And she yeah. kind of lets him go because she doesn't want to hold him back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in Act 4, Act everyone's they, back together. They realise they've wasted all this time and she's sick and then essentially so it's cuts it. Got absolutely everything <laughs> Every going on. Every single thing yeah. you can Now just of. quickly, tell us about the costumes because I hear they yeah. are absolutely incredible. Mm, yeah. Elizabeth Whiting designed this and she um, has worked with the opera for many years and also uh, designs for WOW. So um, she's really one of the the most incredible New Zealand costume designers, mm. so it's always awesome having Elizabeth. And it's also really nice having costumes designed for you specifically, because with older productions you'll wear something that someone else yeah. It's worn 600 times. Yeah, yeah. And so it's great to have pieces, yeah. you know, pinned onto you and have something to fit your body. Mm. Especially if you're yeah. singing too, because you need that movement, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You can see the colour palette is quite monochromatic, mm. and that's an intentional choice. So Jackie Coates, the director of the opera, has um, put all of the chorus in like these black and whites and greys, and then to emphasise the colour of the principal cast, and also because mm. tuberculosis, the colour of blood, mm. um, is highlighted throughout the show. So when you mm. come along and see it, you'll really notice it those intentions in the costume. Awesome. Well, we could talk to you for ages, but we can't. Mm -hmm. But we just have to finally say, Jesse, are you missing us? Of course. He's lying. He's lying. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Love OM plays at Auckland's RTS Centre from next Thursday, the 13th September, until the 23rd of September, and then at Wellington's Opera House in October. You can check out Ticketmaster for ticket details.